I'm going to show you how to import a Modex installation using Softaculous. If you're not familiar with Softaculous, it's at softaculous.com and it's a great installer script for a bunch of different open source platforms uh, and different types of software, but it's great for Modex. It does come with a small price tag, $24 a year for a dedicated server license, which will cover all of your domains on that particular server. It is absolutely well worth the $24 a year. It will save you lots of time installing and upgrading your ModX websites. So go to softaculous.com and you can get a license there. And if you need to contact your host provider who will install the script for you, uh, they will probably charge you and it's again well worth the price to pay to have this particular script. So here I am inside um, Softaculous and you can see here that there's a whole ton of different uh, portals and CMS, there's blogs, uh, wikis, social networking and so on that you can use to install onto your server. It's very similar to Fantastico but Fantastico at this point does not have a ModX installer. So I'm going to click on ModX under Portals and CMS. And it gives you a brief overview of ModX. And it's rated at 4.32 out of 5, which is a good rating. And since I already have a ModX installation, I have 2.05 already installed. I'm going to click Import. And I should also say that it only handles revolution. It does not have an installer or an import for evolution sites 1.0x. So uh, it, it only handles 2.0 and up. So I'm going to click import. Here's my domain. If I had subdomains like I do attached to this particular domain, I could choose the one I want. I tell it which folder this particular installation is in. It's in the folder revolution. And I'll actually just show you what happens if I put a, a folder that doesn't exist. It's going to throw an error and say, there were some errors. It doesn't tell you what it is, but it says there's an error. So I'm going to put in where the actual site is located. And that's it. it in an instant, it imports the information it needs to uh, the Softaculous script. And if I go back to the, the overview, now I can see that there is my... Uh, installation that's in that particular folder and it tells me by this little icon here that there's an update available so I'm gonna go ahead and update this and it says here's the path you want to double check all of this and click upgrade and it does say it's recommended to take a backup but since this is my testing and I don't care if it fails <laughs> we'll go ahead with this but you should always back up before you do an upgrade. So now it said it was upgraded successfully. Now what it has done is it has overwritten the files and it, we now need to finish the setup. So it saves, in an instant, it saves all of the FTPing and worrying about getting the files up either through cPanel or FTP. So I'm gonna finish this installation by clicking Setup. It brings me to the typical upgrade um, Pages. I'm going to go through these. Upgrade installation. Yes. Next. I'm going to check just to make sure that everything is okay, and it is. I'll hit install, and it's done. And now I can delete the setup directory, and I can log in to my newly upgraded Modex site. Just to go back here, I want to return to the overview. And now it is completely up to date in the uh, the manager. Now in the Softaculous uh, admin, the nice thing is too that once you have an account, it will email you a notice saying that there's a new version available for upgrade. So you don't have to always check. It will tell you when a new version is available. So that's how easy it is to import an existing site and upgrade it through Softaculous.